Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to extract data from the web page by using extract data from web page action. If you observe over here, we are going to collect a piece of information or data from the web page by using this action. All right. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to get the details of a web page such as title, text, meta keywords, and some other properties. We can see how to extract or how to get the details of the web page by using get details of web page action as part of web data extraction. All right. Now, before that, I will show you a small example over here what kind of properties that we are going to get it. All right, let me go to the Google Chrome. I'm going to use the website microsoft.com of the official homepage. Now over here, by using get details of the web page, as I said, we can get the description, meta keywords, title, text, source, and the current URL address, where we can get all these details from the particular web page. Right click on the web page and there you can see view page source click on that there you can find all the details like title right and after that you can find the description also let me search for the description over here you can see the description over here as at microsoft our business and values right in the same way we can get the keywords also now in a such a way even we can see the page source text and whatnot even these six properties we can get it by using get details of the web page all right now let me go to the official page i'm going to copy this url and now i'm going to launch in the new chrome I'm going to defining the initial URL as microsoft.com slash the language English hyphen India. All right, let me click on save. Now, let me drag and drop this get details of web page action onto the workspace. Now over here, you can see I'm having the parameters that is web browser instance. We are going to choose the variable that contains web browser instance. What is the variable that we have? That is Google Chrome browser. And after that, we are having the parameter that is get. You can see all these six properties over here. One is description, meta keywords, title, text, source, and the web browser's current URL address. Now, as a first step, I will take the description over here. And the output will be stored in the variable that is web property, that is web page property. I will make it as web page description. And then I'm going to click on save. Now to display the output, what we got it as part of the get details of the web page, that is web page description, I will display in the message box. Let's drag and drop display message onto the workspace. I'm going to give the details as get details of web page. That is the title I'm going to give it and the message to display the web page description that we are going to get it, right? Let me select the variable that is web page description and then click on save. All right, now let's run the flow to see the output for the description. Flow execution has been started and you can see the Microsoft official homepage has been loaded. And you can see the display message over here as a dialog box. You can get it at Microsoft, our mission and values or help to people and business throughout the world realize their full potential. Let me see is this correct or not. How can we go ahead and do that? In the source, you can see the title. I have given the description over here. If you see the description, this is the same description what we have as part of the description, correct? The same thing has been provided over here as part of the get details of web page. All right, let's click on OK. Now we will learn about the web page meta keywords. Let's double click on the get details of the web page. Over here, you will find get parameter. Under that, you will find web page metadata. Let's select that. And then I'm going to store the variables produced. I'm going to change the name over here as web page property. And then I'm going to click on save. Before running this flow, I will tell you one thing. 
in my url that is www.microsoft.com i don't have the keywords let me go to the website and if you see over here i'm going to search for the keywords if you search for the keyword the result is zero in the source view page source i don't have any keywords so that what will happen over here in this case that it will throw an error all right now I will, this is the negative scenario that we are going to do that all right now let me go ahead and let's run the flow to see the output now if you see over here microsoft website has launched successfully and but still we are not getting the output because of we don't have with keywords in this website all right now if you see in the power automate desktop we are getting an error saying that failed to retrieve the details of the web page because of in our website we don't have keywords property or the or keywords tag we don't have in the microsoft website all right now i will show you one more scenario to extract the meta keywords i will take some other site over here or some other url i will take it from the launch new chrome that is www.amazon.in all right now let me click on save now let's run the flow once again flow execution has been started you can say amazon website has been launched now if you see the pop up over here get details of the web page you are having all the keywords how can we see that one right click on the page view page source and search for the word keyword now if you see over here i am having keywords with the content amazon amazon online shopping and what not all these are all the seo search engine keywords what we have the same keywords we got it over here you can see amazon.in amazon online shopping and all these things fitness and outdoors all these things all right let's click on okay now let me revert this launch new chrome for the microsoft only or if you want you can use the same thing also now we will learn another property that is title if you see over here in the get we are having the title over here web page title i want to get it how can i get the web page by using this property that is web page title property i will get the web page title of the particular url all right click on save now if you see over here the web page title of the microsoft there you can see microsoft official home page this is the title of the web page all right now let's run the flow to see the output for the title purpose flow execution has been started and now if you see the title over here i got it as microsoft official home page which we have seen as the source view source page right both are the same all right let's click on okay now we will learn about the web page text property it is a simple property that we have that by using this property what we can do we can get all the text which are available in the particular web page all right so i'm going to set the property get property over here as web page text all right let's click on save and now let me go back to the view page source over here if you see there the lot of things we are having we will get the text whatever we have in the particular web page you can see over here i'm having uh, microsoft office 365 all this kind of text we will get it over here you can see your perfect match xbox game all these texts we will get it when we run the flow all right let's run the flow to see the output now if you observe that i got a pop up window saying that get details of the web page and if you observe over here i got the entire text of the web page that you got it you can see over here the new browser recommended by microsoft is here you can see the text over here right and in the same way you can have get speed security and privacy you got in office microsoft office 365 windows office all the text related whatever you will find it on the particular web page all the text has been fetched or extracted by using this get details of the web page all right now 
I will show you one more parameter that is web page source that I want to retrieve the entire web page. How can I go ahead and do that? Just clicking on the get details of the web page and I'm going to change the parameter over here as get as web page source and then I'm going to click on save. Now I will get the web page source when I run this flow. Now if you observe over here, I got the pop-up for the source, web page source. But over here, as my web page source is very huge that we are unable to display in the message box over here. So that what I will do, I will go for the Power Automate desktop and there I will show you the property over here. Okay, if you see over here, I'm having the entire web page property that is web page source. I'm having the entire related source code. I can get it over here. You can see metadata, meta name, title and whatnot. All this data will be stored in the web page property variable. All right. Now, last but not least, we'll see the final property that is web browser's current URL address. Let's double click on the get details of the web page. And there we are going to change the property, get property over here as web browser's current URL address. Click on that and then click on save button. And let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And now you can see the current URL address that is HTTPS www.microsoft.com slash English hyphen IN. This is same as the current URL address what we can see in the pro in the address bar. All right, let's click on OK. I hope you understand how to work with get details action of the web page by using web data extraction actions. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.